नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल आर व्यूवर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लाइव इंटरक्टिव फोन इन सेशन ऑफ सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दिस लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन एंड लेट मी टेल यू द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेशन एंड द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस सेशन दिस सेशन इज फॉर नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ साइंस एंड द टॉपिक इज द फंडामेंटल यूनिट्स ऑफ लाइफ इस पर हम बात करने वाले हैं आज के इस सेशन में हमारे एक्सपर्ट हमारे साथ जुड़ चुकी हैं तो बिना किसी देरी के हम उनसे मिलते हैं आप हैं मिस स्मृति यादव यू आर टी जी टी साइंस फ्रॉम आर्मी पब्लिक स्कूल सूरतगढ़ कैंट मैम आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है वेरी वॉम वेलकम और इस सेशन को शुरू करने से पहले आप कुछ ज़रूरी बातें अपने सभी व्यूवर्स के साथ हम शेयर करना चाहेंगे इन केस दे हैव एनी क्वेरी एंड क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक आप अपने सभी क्वेरीज हम तक पहुंचा सकते हैं फ़ोन के माध्यम से आप हमें कॉल करेंगे हमारे टेलीफोन नंबर पर जो है डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन ईदर यू कैन ड्रॉप अ मेल एट आर ई मेल एड्रेस एट इस डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन तो हम एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं आपके सवाल आपके प्रश्न जो आप हमारे एक्सपर्ट से जानना चाहते हैं या फिर आप इस चैप्टर में कहीं पर अटक गए हैं तो अपनी सभी क्वेरीज अपने डाउट्स आप हमारे एक्सपर्ट से जरूर शेयर करें एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन लेट मी शेयर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पीस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विद यू ऑल रिगार्डिंग इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी वी आर इंडीड वेरी प्राउड एट इंडिया ज्यूम्ड जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी एंड विल कन्वीन द जी ट्वेंटी लीडर्स समेट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द कंट्री इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री अ नेशन दैट डीपली कमिटेड टू डेमोक्रेसी एंड मल्टीलैटरिज्म इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी वुड बी अ वॉटरशेड मोमेंट इन हर हिस्ट्री एज इट सीक्स टू प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल बाय फाइंडिंग प्रैगमेटिक ग्लोबल सोल्यूशन फॉर द वेलबिंग ऑफ ऑल एंड इन डूइंग सो मैनी फर्स्ट द ट्रू स्पिरट ऑफ वसुधा कुटुम्ब कम ऑफ वी कैन से द होल वर्ल्ड इज वन फैमिली विद दैट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पीस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन लेट्स क्विकली गेट बैक टू द सेशन इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोर अबाउट द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ और मैम हम आपके पास आएंगे और हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे स्मृति मैम क्या कुछ खास है आज के इस सेशन में हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए Greetings everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss class nine science uh, chapter number five, fundamental unit of life. इस सेशन में हम एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सेल ऑर्गेनलीज को डिस्कस करेंगे आई होप आपने प्रीवियस सेशन में आपका प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर पढ़ लिया होगा सो नॉ लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेल ऑर्गेनलीज बिफोर कमिंग टू द टॉपिक आई टेल यू लिटिल बिट अबाउट सेल ऑर्गेनलीज सबसे पहले तो वी ऑल नो दैट द सेल्स आर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड स्ट्रक्चर Now, why are these cell organelles needed? As we all know, that the cell is a functional and structural unit of life. Now, to the cell performs n number of functions in our body. To separate these functions from one another, we have different types of cell organelles. As you can see on the screen, uh, our today's discussion topic will be uh, these cell organelles. The first one is endoplasmic reticulum. Second is Golgi apparatus. Then lysosomes, mitochondria, plastids, and then last uh, is vacuoles. So now let's come to the first topic, that is endoplasmic reticulum. Next, please. Yes, endoplasmic reticulum. If you will see this diagram, which I have shown in the slide, you can see the location of endoplasmic reticulum. Now, endoplasmic reticulum are tube-like structure. Now, these endoplasmic reticulum they are present in close association with the nucleus. now endoplasmic reticulum they are the site for biochemical activities of the cell if you will ask for a biochemical activities uh, you must have read in your previous or small classes that is in 7th standard digestion of food jahan par aapka uh, complex food particles simpler food particles mein break down hote hain so that you can consume it in your body so ye hi biochemical activities uh, kehlate hain which are happening in the cell now this endoplasmic reticulum is divided into two types that is your rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum now what is rough endoplasmic reticulum if you see the rough endoplasmic reticulum under the microscope you will see that it has tiny bumps on it now what are these bumps these bumps are ribosomes now ribosomes are the site for the protein synthesis and next is your smooth endoplasmic reticulum and as the name suggests when you will watch it under the microscope you will see that the endoplasmic reticulum is smooth no tiny bumps are present this is because uh, ribosomes are absent and this is the site for the production of lipids or we can say fat molecules now you must be having a question ki fat molecules kyu produce ho rahe hai ya fir protein molecules kyu produce ho rahe hai so the function of endoplasmic reticulum is basically is membrane biogenesis 
what is membrane biogenesis since aapka endoplasmic reticulum lipids and protein synthesize karta hai it helps in the formation of membrane you must have also heard about liver in our body so one of the most important function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that where it is present in the liver and it is the site for detoxifying n number of toxic drugs and uh, poison so what is the function of endoplasmic reticulum it produces lipids and it produces protein which helps in the synthesis of your cell membrane and another function very important function is that it helps in detoxifying of drugs and poison in your body with, uh, when the cells are present in the liver uh, next please Yes. So next uh, uh, cell organelle is Golgi apparatus. So now the Golgi apparatus was discovered by Camillo Golgi. So hence the name. Now Golgi apparatus are present in close association with your endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see in the image, these Golgi apparatus are present in the form of vesicles. They are arranged in upon one another. That is in parallel fashion. Then they form stacks, and these stacks are known as cistrins. Now, what is the function of Golgi apparatus? Since it is present in close association with your uh, endoplasmic reticulum, what was happening in the endoplasmic reticulum? Aapka protein and lipids form ho rahe the. Now, the formation is done. Now, what happens in the Golgi apparatus? The Golgi apparatus stores it, it modifies it, it packs it, and then it sends it to the targeted site in the cell wherever it is required. and this is the function of golgi apparatus now one most important function of golgi apparatus is that it is involved in the formation of lysosomes now what are lysosomes that is our next cell organelle next please yes now what are lysosomes lysosomes as you can see they are sac filled with digest powerful digestive enzymes now if you will ask what are these digestive enzymes now uh, digestive enzymes what is the function of these digestive enzymes sometimes what happens is ki aapke cell mein koi foreign particle enter kar jata hai uh, ya fir aapka cell worn out ho jata hai so it's no longer in use these foreign particles might be harmful to the cell so these lysosomes since they are filled with strong digestive enzymes they can engulf it they can destroy it that is why they are known as digestive uh, that is why they are filled with digestive enzymes. now you can see that i have written suicide bags now what are why are lysosomes called as suicide bags now sometimes what happens that due to some cellular disturbance the metabolism of the cell is disturbed so now the cell is not able to perform all its function so ab cell aapke body mein kisi kaam ka nahi hai so instead the cell ko engulf karne ke bajaye ya fir apna digestive juices secrete karne ke bajaye what does the lysosome does is it bursts its cell wo apne aap ko burst kar deta hai and it engulfs uh, your uh, cell jo bhi aapka cell hai jo is not functional usko engulf kar deta hai completely uh, engulfs that is why they are known as suicide bags okay so till now we have discussed three of your very important cell organelles that is endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus and lysosomes i hope ki abhi kisi ko isme kuch doubt nahi hoga now let's move on to the next important uh, cell organelle next please Yes. So the next important cell organelle is mitochondria. Now, what is mitochondria? The another name given for mitochondria is powerhouse of cell. Now, as the name suggests, it is the site of cellular respiration. You all must have read in your smaller classes that what is respiration? Respiration provides us with energy. Yes. So what happens in this mitochondria? Uh, if you see the structure, if you see the diagram, see. in the slide only you can see the st structure of uh, mitochondria mitochondria is membrane bound structure it has two membranes the outer membrane which is porous in nature there are small small pores which is selectively permeable which allows some materials to go in and allows selective material to go out now the inner membrane of this mitochondria is highly folded now you must be thinking that why it is highly folded kyunki aapne dekha hoga if something is straight तो इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ स्पेस बट अगर हम उसको हाईली फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन में उसको फोल्ड कर दें तो वो कंपेरेटिवली कम स्पेस लेगा बट ज्यादा सरफेस एरिया प्रोवाइड करेगा सो इट प्रोवाइड्स लॉट वो इंक्रीज सरफेस एरिया फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए टी पी वॉट इज ए टी पी 
ATP is adenosine triphosphate. Now, what is this adenosine triphosphate? Its another name is energy currency. Abhi humne padha uh, right now only ki mitochondria are called the powerhouse of cell. Now, why are these called powerhouse of cell? Because jo cell mitochondria ka inner membrane hai, it produces your ATP. Now, ATP, another name was given energy currency which provides energy for all the functions which are happening in your cell. Yes, so that is why they are known as powerhouse of cell and ATP is known as energy currency. Now, one very striking feature of your mitochondria is that it has its own DNA and it has its own ribosome. And in the previous part of the session only we have discussed that why are ribosomes important because they produce protein. Yes, so next please. Okay, so now another important uh, cell organelle which is particularly present in your plant cell, it's absent in your uh, animal cell is your plastids. Now, plastids you can find only in plant cell. Now why only in plant cell? Because plastids are related to color. You must have heard about chlorophyll which is present in your chloroplast. Now plastids are again of two types. They are chromoplast and Leucoplast. Chromoplast, as the name suggests, chroma means color. So it's something related to color. And leucoplast is white or colorless. Now, talking about chromoplast, basically in our plants, chromoplast is green in color. You must have all read about chloroplast. Chloroplast contains chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is green in color. Now, why it is green in color? Because of the presence of these plastids. Now, why do we use chlorophyll or why is there chlorophyll necessary? Because chlorophyll helps in the process, but very important process which is done by plants that is photosynthesis. Now, what is the function of leucoplast? The second type of plastids, uh, leucoplasts are white in color. They store your starch, they store oil, they store protein granules. Basically, they store all of the products which are made or which, which are supposed to be stored in the plant. Now, these plastids also, just like your mitochondria, they also have their own DNA and they also have their own ribosomes. This is one of the important features of the mitochondria as well as your ribosomes. Uh, sorry, plastids. Next, please. Okay, last but not the least uh, is your vacuoles. Now, what are vacuoles? See, vacuoles are also present in both your plant cell and your animal cell. Now, in animal cells, they are smaller in size and when you see in the plant cell, they are quite bigger in size. Now, why are they bigger in size in plant cell? Because in plant cell, uh, these vacuoles are filled with uh, liquid and solid uh, content. So, what happens if the size of the vacuole is bigger, it helps in maintaining the turgidity and rigidity of the cell or in the plant cell. And talking about in the animal cells, they are quite smaller in size. We, you all must have read about amoeba in 7th standard when you were reading about digestion in animals. That in amoeba, the digestion is done with the help of food vacuoles. Now, what are food vacuoles important? See, in human being, we have a proper... Uh, elementary canal for digestion but in single cellular organisms like your amoeba it has only food vacuole and food vacuole does all the function which in a human being in different organ does is, uh, for digestion the amoeba in amoeba the food vacuole does all the functions of the uh, for the digestion so it's very important so the vacuole plays a very important role in unicellular organisms okay uh, yes okay that's all from my side Okay, so uh, fine ma'am and uh, I have a question, uh, yes, which of these cell organelles are present in plant cell and animal cell ma'am, if we talk about plant cell and animal cell. Yes, uh, see uh, plant cell and animal cell mostly uh, all the cell organelles are present but if you will see that as I told you that uh, plastids are an important uh, part of plant cell, they are not present in animal cells because plastids are concerned with the chlorophyll. Uh, so, it's, that's why they are present in plant cells and animal cells don't need them. So, they are not present in animal cells. Plant cell has other mitochondria is there. You have your vacuoles, you have ligosomes, uh, Golgi apparatus, ER, endoplasm reticulum is present in both plant and animal cell. Okay. And which of these cell organelle contains on DNA, ma'am? 
uh, as we have discussed, there are two cell organelles which contain their own DNA. Uh, mm-hmm. That is your mitochondria and your plastids. Okay, and then why mitochondria has largely largely folded in a membrane? Why is it okay. so? Uh, this is a very important question. Or you will get to you will ask you will be seeing this question in all your exams. It is see the mitochondria is membrane formed. The outer membrane is porous, and the inner membrane is highly folded. As we have seen in the previous slide, the mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. It produces energy for the cell. So we need more and more energy. So to produce more and more energy, the inner membrane is folded so that the surface area can be increased for the production of this energy. Okay, ma'am, we still have almost six to seven minutes left for this session. Any important uh, uh, point or thing that you want to share with all our students? Uh, okay, ma'am, I'll just quickly revise what we have sure, done. Sure, ma'am. Sure. Okay. So uh, we were discussing. So we have discussed about uh, cell organelles, which is a very important topic of the fundamental unit of life. And in this session, we have discussed about endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, and vacuoles. So these six are important for your ninth standard. Now the first one was the, uh, endoplasmic reticulum. Now what are endoplasmic reticulum? They are present in close association with your nucleus. Right. So what happens is, is the endoplasmic reticulum has two types uh, in them. That is rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now the rough endoplasmic reticulum um, has uh, ribosomes present on them. When we view it under the microscope, we can see that the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum is rough. So that is why the name is given as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now rough endoplasmic reticulum, since it has ribosomes, it is a site for the synthesis of protein. Which is produced by your ribosomes. Hmm. Now, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, if you will view it under the microscope, it is smooth. Since ribosomes are absent, so it produces fats or lipids. Now, why are fats and lipids and this protein synthesis important? Because in endoplasmic reticulum, the main function of endoplasmic reticulum is is uh, doing membrane biogenesis. Now, what is membrane biogenesis? We all know that our plant cell as well as our animal cell, the outermost layer here is our uh, cell membrane. So, for the synthesis of the cell membrane, is uh, protein and your lipids are important. So, this is the main function of endoplasmic reticulum. Now, talking about Golgi apparatus, Golgi apparatus was discovered by Camillo Golgi and that is why the name was given Golgi apparatus. Now the function of Golgi apparatus is that it is present in close association with your endoplasmic reticulum. So since the endoplasmic reticulum is manufacturing or producing your protein and lipids, the function of Golgi apparatus is to take it from the uh, endoplasmic reticulum, store it, manufacture, uh, modify it and pack it and then send it to the targeted site wherever the requirement is. And one of the important function of Golgi apparatus is that it produces lysosomes. Now what are lysosomes? It is the third important cell organelle. Now lysosomes are uh, sac like structure which are present in your cell organelles. They are present in both plant and animal cell. The function of lysosomes is that they have digestive enzymes. Now the digestive enzyme is so powerful that it digests any foreign material or if the cell is worn out or if there is any damaged uh, uh, part in the cell, it digests everything. That is why they are also, uh, the, they are known as digestive cell organelles. Now another name as you seen in the slide, I have shown it's written as suicidal bags. Now why are they called suicidal bags? Now sometimes what happens that due to some disturbance, the cell metabolism is disturbed. The cell is not able to perform it, its function. So what is what this lysosome is going to do is since the cell is of no use, so the lysosome will burst itself and the digestive enzyme will spread in uh, all the cell and the cell will be engulfed or destroyed by the lysosomes. That is why they are known as suicidal bats. The fourth important cell organelle is mitochondria. Now mitochondria, another name for mitochondria is powerhouse of cell. If we talk in brief, mitochondria produces ATP that is adenosine triphosphate which is also known as energy currency of the cell since our cell requires our whole body requires energy to perform any function so that is why we have uh, this mitochondria as it produces ATP. Now next important function uh, or we can say this important feature of mitochondria is that it has its own DNA 
and ribosomes. Fifth important cell organelle is your plastids. The plastids are only present in your plant cell. They are not present in animal cell or in your, uh, uh, they are just present in the plant cell. Since they have, since they are related to uh, plant cell because they have chromoplast and leucoplast, two types of plastids. Now what are chromoplasts? They are related to color. You all must have seen green color. You must have read about chlorophyll. Why is chlorophyll green in color? Because it has plastids. What is the function of chlorophyll? Why is it so important to plast? What is leucoplast? Leucoplast is, is white in color. They are colorless. They store oil or starch which are produced in plants. Not, and the striking feature of just like your mitochondria is that it has its own DNA and ribosomes. Now the last one is vacuoles. Now vacuoles are present both in plant and animal cell. In plant cell, the vacuole covers almost 50 to 90 percent of the uh, cell. Why is vacuole so important in plant cell? Because it provides the turgidity and rigidity to the plant. It provides the structure to the cell. And talking about in animal cell, you all must have heard and you all must have read about amoeba in your uh, smaller classes. That uh, in amoeba, the digestion happens because of the uh, help of food vacuole which is present in the amoeba. Since amoeba is a unicellular organism, it does not have... Have uh, the full digestive system just like human beings. It has a single vacuole that is food vacuole which performs all the functions of the uh, digestion. So I hope that these all the cell organelles are clear to you. Uh, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, plastids, and vacuoles, they all function simultaneously. And if anyone is not functioning properly, the function, the metabolism of the cell will be disturbed and the cell will not be perform, will not be able to perform to its full capabilities. Right. And rightly said. And ma'am, it's time for me to wrap up this session. But thank you so very much for being with us and for your detailed information on all the cells and the topic on the fundamental units of life. Thank you so very much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And dear learner, it's time for me to wrap up this session. But let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding NCERT textbooks. NCERT textbooks for the year 2023-24 are available throughout the country and these textbooks may be purchased directly from NCERT sales counters located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. These sales counters will be functional on all the weekdays including all the gadgeted holidays, Saturdays and Sundays as well from 9.30 am to 6 pm. You may also place uh, order for the books online from our website that is ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and these books will be delivered at your doorstep with no delivery fees. And in case if you want the soft copy of all those books in PDF version, it can also be downloaded online for free from NCERT, Diksha, e Shala website and from our mobile app as well. We would request you to visit our website that is ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors. Me, Renu Bhatt is taking your leave but you stay tuned to eVidya channels for more informative program. Our next session is webinar. Namaskar.